السيد الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي رئيس الجمهورية إنها ذكرى مولد رسول الإنسانية ورحمة الله للعالمين سيدنا محمد صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى إخوانه الأبياء والمرسلين during which the Egyptians, through this great Egyptian legend, were able to make all Egyptians feel proud. Through the victory they achieved, and this was a great victory that was inscribed in a lot of books through what was done by the Egyptians due this important turning point in the history of Egypt where the army of Egypt has amazed the whole world and destroyed their legends and myths. Celebrating the anniversary of the last Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, is a celebration that differs from all other celebrations. And the history always remembers what was done by all messengers and prophets and it is another kind of celebration celebrating the divine revelation and the message of Allah to mankind and as well as human perfection and greatness in its best forms it's celebrating the behavior of and the the ethics of Prophet Muhammad, as we can see right now on screen, the arrival of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of the Republic, to Al Manara International Conference Center to celebrate the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, organized by the Ministry of Endowment. It is uh, celebrating uh, the behaviors and uh, the ethics of Prophet Muhammad. And this was all seen in uh, the behaviors and the ethics of all messengers on prophets who were protected by Allah as he has created them to love mercy, truth, uh, and compassion. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him has reached uh, a noble level as he was considered to be the perfect human being due his nobleness and his uh, high values. Let's hear a talk about uh, the initiative of our ethics adopted by the state under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. After technology wasted uh, a lot of the these ethics and morals that we have been applying for a number of years, uh, things have changed because of technology. It made the human being turn the positive aspects of technology into negative ones. Everything has its pros and cons. For technology, there are some people who use technology to misguide people and misguide and brainwash the youth in particular. And here comes the importance of getting back to morals and ethics and uh, the noble values and principles. So we need to follow into the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, especially when we are celebrating celebrating his anniversary. The morals and ethics of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, uh, is acknowledged uh, uh, by everybody and even his enemies, the non-believers and the atheists acknowledged these morals and acknowledged that he was honest. Uh, 
and he was kind to both uh, Muslims and non-Muslims believers and non-believers. So we need uh, to take Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him as our role model uh, as uh, Allah has granted him all these noble morals, values and principles. Uh, all these uh, sacred traits of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, were not gathered in any person but Prophet Muhammad, as Allah has prepared him for the revelation of Islam and for the revelation of all his teachings. One of these uh, uh, sacred traits known about him was that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was kind, compassion, and and uh, he never insulted anyone. He never raised his voice uh, in roads or in markets. And he was always uh, tolerant and he was uh, always forgiving. And uh, he did not hit any servant, any woman or any child. And he did not hit anyone except uh, in defending Islam. And he has defended all the people. And he has been fair to everybody. And uh, he was only angry when uh, the teachings of Allah were violated. And no person was uh, un facing injustice at his time. And the Prophet Muhammad Muhammad, the peace and blessing be upon him, has never selected between two options except uh, the smoother and the easier one. And whenever he got into his home, he was kind to his families. He used to serve himself to do everything. And he would only speak about uh, what matters to him. And peace and blessing be upon warned people uh, and against being unjust. And he used to inspect his friends, ask about them and visit them. And whenever he met a group of people, he would sit at the end where he arrived without asking to sit in the middle of the group. And uh, he usually talked to people about patience, honesty, uh, the religion, and he used to respect the elderly and be kind to the youngest ones. And these are all the traits of Prophet Muhammad that we learned from reading his life and his history. He was so compassionate to children and who protected even the rights of the strangers. And he was loved by everyone. And respected as well. While celebrating today the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. Of course, the president is going to honor a number of those working in serving uh, Islam and the call for Islam and those who enrich these efforts, be it inside Egypt or abroad, as usually done in uh, the, the ceremony of the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad to uphold the value of uh, Prophet Muhammad and uh, this religion, in addition uh, to celebrating with the Muslims uh, this great day, the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. Prophet Muhammad uh, never uh, uh, looked down upon anyone and never intervened in any internal affairs of anybody. And while celebrating uh, his anniversary today, we are not only celebrating Celebrating this prophet uh, who has reached perfection, but in fact, uh, we are celebrating the divine message to humanity in the form of a divine message that was the end of all uh, the previous sacred religions and divine messages. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was honest in delivering this divine message. Uh, 
And he gave advice to the nation and did not leave it except by telling them about everything, warning them from deviation from the, these principles and values that would lead to their destruction. And Prophet Muhammad, through his sermons and through what we read about his life and through his prophetic sayings, that uh, we need all to enjoy the good traits and ethics and morals. And uh, uh, this, uh, the final sermon the, and uh, the preach that was given by Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, said, I left you with this religion and those who would deviate from it and deviate from uh, the jurisprudence is going to be destroyed and those who would live uh, would find a lot of differences so we need to hold on to my sunnah and the sunnah of my companions so cling on to them and uh, this uh, divine religion has widely spread like sun in the east and the west of uh, the whole planet and this was one of the miracles of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him and uh, some of the companions of Prophet Muhammad said uh, that uh, peace and blessing be upon him he uh, was so kind he was compassionate uh, and he always used kind words in talking to people Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, delivered the, the divine message and he advised the, the nation. And peace and blessing be upon him. After spreading this religion, in achieving a miracle, that this religion is going to be everywhere on this planet and he used to talk about this confidently as if he is seeing the future and as if he can see the future. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, said that this religion would be everywhere like day and night. And Thuban said that uh, Allah made uh, the Prophet see the East and the West and he, uh, the Prophet saw that his nation and the Muslims would be everywhere. The miracle in these two prophetic sayings lies in the fact that the Prophet Muhammad told this to his companions and enemies. He told both of them that religion is going to be spread at a time when Islam was only in the Arab Peninsula. And this promise back then was like an impossible dream. And uh, yet Prophet Muhammad was confident uh, of uh, this uh, and uh, that's why he was able to tell this to people to make them patient Dear viewers, while celebrating today the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, we are celebrating uh, good traits and morals we are also celebrating the human perfection symbolized in prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him prophet muhammad left to us his sunnah and uh, of course the holy quran before that all and peace and blessing be upon him told us to hold and cling on to this uh, and this can be seen also in uh, the presence of the Quran as Allah has uh, revealed this Holy Quran and he keeps and protects it. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was considered to be the emblem 
that guides uh, the whole humanity and this religion is protected by Allah's promise and uh, we defend it against all people who attack it whatever their creeds or nationalities is and we will never fear anything as the verse from the Holy Quran says that they want to put an end to this uh, light, uh, the religion and they would never be able to do it as Allah would complete this guidance and in a third verse it says that there is no difference between darkness and light, dead and alive. Uh, Allah guides those who want to be guided and you want to be able to guide those who are already dead and you are there also to warn and guide the people but you are not there to judge them. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, is this prophet uh, who was uh, granted uh, by Allah to whole humanity. The verse of the Holy Quran says uh, that Allah has gifted the humanity, this prophet, Prophet Muhammad, uh, to guide them, teach them wisdom, uh, the Holy Quran, and before they were in full darkness and injustice. It w if it was not for uh, Prophet Muhammad and uh, the revelation he received, from Allah, then humanity would have been still in full darkness till doomsday. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, according to the verse of the Holy Quran, is the bacon that leads us all in this darkness. Allah has said in the verse from the Holy Quran light and uh, the Holy Quran came to you the light is Prophet Muhammad and uh, the book is the Holy Quran and as Allah called him the light he called him also the guidance and uh, a verse from the Holy Quran was directed to Prophet Muhammad telling him that we have sent you to guide the people and to light uh, the path for them and Prophet Muhammad is the mercy sent to all mankind uh, the believers and the non-believers as the verse says that you were sent uh, mercy to mankind and as the prophet says about him I am uh, a mercy gift to you so this is just part of what was given by Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him to the nation and to the whole world he was able to change all uh, the bad traits and uh, practices and misconceptions that's why we defend himself and we love him even more than our fathers children families the love of prophet muhammad peace be upon him uh, is the responsibility of every muslim and the holy quran in the verse says if your fathers sons uh, brothers uh, spouses, uh, families, uh, and the money you earned uh, and the trade uh, you worry about and the houses you live in are loved by you more than the Prophet and fighting this religion then wait until Allah comes with his order and Allah never would guide uh, these misguided people. So we need all to love Prophet Muhammad more than our families and fathers, sons, money, houses, and trade. And this is supported by the verse from Holy Quran. You want to be a believer unless uh, you love Prophet more than his father, his son, and all people. And love here is not uh, talking about emotions and emotional love only. But uh, the love that is meant here is uh, the love of the mind, the selective love that is formed uh, upon study, understanding what was done by the Prophet uh, and his teachings.
The love of great people and people who enjoy good morals and noble people is the must. And scientists say that uh, this love with the mind is what is needed in the verse and the prophetic saying. And it is the first step in believing. Uh, and the completion of this love is that uh, the feelings and the emotions of the Muslim would follow his mind. Dear uh, viewers, while we are waiting for uh, the entrance of Prophet Muhammad to the room to start this uh, ceremony held by the uh, Ministry of Endowment, we remember uh, the life of Prophet Muhammad and his traits that were told to us by his companions and followers. Peace and blessing be upon him was kind, compassion. He did his best. He never raised his voice in roads or markets. And uh, he was always forgiving. We are waiting for the entrance of uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to start the ceremony. After the arrival of the ministers, the officials, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli. للاحتفالي بذكرى مولد النبي الأكرم سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم 
ان احتفالنا بمولد celebrating the birth anniversary of the last prophet prophet is not just a celebration of a great man that history would always remember but it is another type of celebration it is celebrating uh, divine revelation uh, the divine message to mankind and human perfection in its sublime form Today, celebrating the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, we are not just celebrating a person who has reached perfection, but we are in fact President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of the Republic. السلام عليكم. كل سنة وأنتم طيبين. Many happy returns. Welcome. Please be seated. ولد الهدى فالكائنات. Guidance was created. The history is smiling. and praising him. Your Excellency, President al Fattah Sisi, the President of the Republic, distinguished guests, many happy returns. May every year carry to the whole Muslim nation every good uh, history and age has smiled for the birth of Prophet Muhammad, the, the best creator and the last messenger and prophet of Allah, peace and blessing be upon him. While uh, the history and the age smiles, we are also smiling and celebrating this day every year. On this day, uh, we celebrate uh, the birth of Prophet Muhammad and the best thing to start with is reciting verses from the Holy Quran سلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا وبشر المؤمنين بأن لهم من الله فضلا كبيرا ولا تضع الكافرين والمنافقين ودع أذاهم وتوكل على الله وتوكل على الله وكفى بالله وكيلا صدق الله العظيم صدق أصدق من قال verse from the Holy Quran talks about Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing him the 
Lord of the universe and the whole mankind. The state represented in the Ministry of Endowment focused its efforts on developing the call for Islam through developing sermons, reciters, preachers, and it developed also the historical mosques that are considered to be a great heritage for this country, in addition to the rehabilitation and renovation of all mosques nationwide, as well as work on developing the revenues and the returns of the Ministry of Endowment. And now the speech of Dr. Mukhtar Goma, the Minister of Endowment. Thank be to Allah, peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, the last messenger and prophet from Allah, and peace and blessing be upon his family, his companions, and his followers. President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, distinguished guests, I would like to congratulate you all for celebrating the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, praying Allah to give us many happy returns for this anniversary and may it carry always to the whole world good I would like to congratulate the President and our armed forces for the anniversary of the 6th of October victory, confirming that we all stand as one unit behind you, appreciating these great achievements implemented in your wise leadership on the land of Egypt in different fields. The Holy Quran talked about Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him revealing uh, the greatness of his position and his morals and traits Allah may glory be to Allah says that uh, Prophet Muhammad has never said something wrong and he said that uh, his heart has never said something wrong and uh, he was never been misguided or tried to misguide other and uh, he also has learned strongly everything and his ethics uh, were mentioned in the verse of the Holy Quran by saying that you are of great behavior and ethics and another verse says that uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad is a good role model for you all. So obeying Prophet Muhammad has become part of obeying Allah as the verse that says that he who obeys the Prophet is obeying Allah and he warned us from disobeying him or violating his guidance as the verse from the Holy Quran says that those who would deviate from his guidance uh, might uh, face sedition or uh, great uh, torture and pain. So we need to be disciplined and polite when we talk about uh, Prophet Muhammad, the peace and blessing be upon him, or when talking about uh, his sunnah that we cannot live with as it shows and reveals and explains to us a lot of things that are mentioned in the Holy Quran. Imam Ibn Hazm says that in any verse from the Holy Quran you would never find that you need to pray uh, three times or five times a day uh, or the details of how we should pray or what should be done for alms or hajj or well, fasting, but this all can be explained and shown in the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad and we differentiate between all these teachings and the variables where the fatwa, the religious opinion might change with the change of time, circumstances and places as Prophet Muhammad has opened the door for these changes to be adopted 
Prophet Muhammad says that Allah may glory be to him every 100 years send to this nation those who can renew the matters of their religion for them and of course this renewal is done through diligence as well as studying the new circumstances and the differences and the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him has adopted uh, this principle and has opened the, the door uh, for all Muslims and uh, when uh, Mu'ad ibn Jabal was sent to Yemen he told him what you are going to rule with he said I'm going to rule with the Holy Quran and he asked if it is not there he will uh, use then the Sunnah he said what if you cannot find it then I'm going to depend on diligence as well as uh, studying matters and uh, he did not say that uh, I will wait or I will stop or I will send to you a message or I will send to you a messenger to ask you for your religious opinion and the Prophet Muhammad does not ask him for that he gave the opportunity to Muslims and uh, to make their decision decisions about the new things and he has opened a new door for that telling Muaz ibn Jabal thank God that he has guided us to this from this perspective and in the framework of your guidance and directives to study the text of the Sunnah and the Holy Quran in protecting the main principles of Islam as well as the importance of building a new generation of Imams who are capable of dealing with the new challenges we have worked on that through the number of elements first of all uh, consecutive and successive training courses in cooperation with Al-Azhar and uh, the legal opinion uh, and a number of institutions through the International Academy of Endowment that has taken a lot of steps towards uh, universality in addition to its role in developing the preachers and the Imams it has become uh, the hub for training Imams uh, media professionals and uh, preachers uh, from different parts of the world who want to study more about Islam and uh, the Islamic jurisprudence and in our training courses we try to benefit from uh, different sectors and scientific experiences as giving a religious opinion in economic issues medical veterinary climatic uh, 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 agricultural engineering genetics matters in a in addition to other developments, to give a legal opinion about them, needs people who are experienced scientifically, so as to give uh, the religious opinion as the religious opinion in the scientific daily new developments is based on the scientific opinion and does not come before it. And we'd like to emphasize that the religious opinion in the new developments, be it medical, economic, climatic, uh, or scientific, is based on the opinion of the uh, experts in these specialities and this is what we understood from the verse of the Ayah Quran you need to ask people who are specialized in these fields if you do not know and these are the people who are specialized in every science so we ask uh, the physicians about medicine engineers about engineering and so on so there is no contradiction uh, between religion and science at the end I would like to emphasize uh, that uh, the message of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him was a great opening for life and after life and uh, peace and blessing be upon him his birth uh, was the birth of a new civilization uh, the birth of all mankind and uh, this was summarized by Ahmad Shawqi the point when he said you have preached for life and after life and for religion their sciences uh, the reader uh, of uh, the sermon and he said uh, that uh, the guidance was born so the history is uh, smiling and praising him the spirit uh, 
and uh, the angels around him are emphasizing the spirit, the life and uh, religion and life. It talks about both religion and life. So the birthday of Prophet Muhammad and the anniversary of this birth reminds us of everything that was done. And this uh, comes in day and night remembering us of Prophet Muhammad. Uh, peace and blessing be upon him. And let me, Your Excellency, present to you in my name and on behalf of all the staff of the Ministry of Endowment a copy from the Holy Quran praying Allah to protect you and protect Egypt from all evils and many happy returns to you all and peace and blessing be upon you. Egypt, the heart of Islam and the heart of the nation and the heart of the whole world since old ages. Throughout history, it has always celebrated Prophet Muhammad and his family. And this will be there up till doomsday. Egypt. Uh, mentioned in the Holy Quran will have good up till doomsday with this documentary about the efforts of the Ministry of Endowment. آيات من القرآن الكريم from the Holy Quran that summarized the objective of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him message who was described by Allah to enjoy great ethics in fact we love Prophet Muhammad and we follow his knowledge his traits and his teachings to learn more about the values and principles the essence and the spirit of Islam we celebrate his birth as a Muslim nation that has its specificity and we celebrate his birth anniversary to follow into his footsteps and to follow his words and actions the Islamic world celebrates the birth anniversary of the best human being. The state of Egypt has a long past in this event through a number of messages emanating from the objective of the divine message for construction and development. Egypt, the call for prayer from its minarets has always been there. You hear the best uh, prayers and you can see also the Islamic architecture and its development over eight years. The state has renovated and maintained mosques nationwide with the unique architectural style that is up to the renaissance of the new republic. The number of mosques that were renovated and constructed and rehabilitated reached more than 4,200 new mosques up till now. The state of Egypt has given great importance to these historical mosques like the mountains and the renovation of the mosques of the members of the family of Prophet Muhammad due to its historical importance and 
due to its great position in the hearts of the Egyptians. The Egyptians love it and this is highlighted by the concern given by the president to develop it so that uh, Imam al Hussein would be the first mosque to be renovated and what is inaugurated in celebrating the, um, the uh, revelation night uh, this year and this is the sword of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him and things did not stop uh, regarding the renovation of the mosque, but it included also the meaning of these mosques. The Ministry of Endowment gave great importance to the Holy Quran, Quran to apply it uh, on the ground. Since the year 2013 and up till now, they inaugurated 1,600 Quranic schools and established 620 uh, and, and Quranic centers uh, for people and this year there started to be Quranic uh, schools uh, for men and women for those who enjoy good voices to teach them how to recite the Holy Quran and to spread the discipline of them so more than 3,500 Quranic schools were established uh, nationwide and because this is Egypt and it has been known for the Islamic songs and it has learned through a great heritage with the sounds and the voices of those known. And with a clear philosophy and due diligence adopted by the state towards the children, a number of activities were provided to them through the cultural project for the children, as well as uh, conducting different activities in a modern method, one of which is the recitation courses, as well as the explanation of the meaning of the Holy Quran and also videos that are uh, loaded on the websites of the Ministry of Endowment for children to watch them as well as different educational activities in the puppet theater and also translation in sign language for children with disabilities as well as the translation of books in braille form. And the president has given great importance to investing in human beings and human beings through an academic message and establishing a training academy that has provided about 165 training programs since its inauguration up till today. It started as a national one and it became international as it is training now foreigners from abroad and the number of African and foreign countries are sending their students to be taught on the hands of the specialists and experts in Egypt. The new republic that looks for further development has multiple wealth. It lies in the spirit, uh, so it's moving towards the sky while looking at the past, seeking everlasting. Egypt, uh, the kind of art and civilization, the country of science and scientists. Its history is full of voices that came from the sky when they recite the Holy Quran. And its presence is full of voices that can be up to the old voices. So the nice voice and mixing this with uh, realizing the words are all achieved on this great land. And there is a great opportunity for creativity. The song uh, Prophet Muhammad is the moon. And also the song, uh, Allah, I am standing by your door, will be sung now by the chorus.
The Holy Quran was revealed in Mecca and was interpreted and taught in Egypt. Egypt, uh, the cradle of history, civilization, and the hub for all scientists, has over the past years developed all sectors on different levels as uh, if life is constructed by what Allah wants us to do, then the religion of the people would be sound and also their uh, after life would be their soul spreading uh, love, uh, justice, uh, compassion and tolerance. This would be done with the speech of the grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmed Al-Tayyib. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, uh, thanks be to Allah. Peace and blessing be upon uh, Prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and his followers. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, uh, may God protect him, distinguished guests, uh, peace and blessing be upon you. Many happy returns and may every year uh, carry to you the president, uh, the Muslim world, the presidents, the kings, uh, the rulers, uh, the nations, more uh, strength, uh, more glory, uh, power, uh, good and blessings. One of uh, the significance of good is that uh, celebrating the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad this year coincides with celebrating October victory that Allah has gifted to the Arabs and Muslims and provided them with a victory and enabled them to restore their lands and homes after the aggressors were inflicted by a lot of losses and grave damages in casualties, weapons and machineries. The coincidence uh, between uh, these uh, two events uh, after uh, half a century is a symbol that tells the Muslims uh, that restoring their strength and glory is pinned upon their commitment to following into the footsteps of their noble prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. And through thinking of his unique example, building a nation and constructing a civilization like no other civilizations as it exists, for uh, 20, uh, 15 centuries, as well as thinking of this uh, and mediating, meditating upon it to think how can we be keen on implementing these human social uh, noble values spread by this message, especially compassion, equality, and justice as well as other values that uh, has been seen in the history of Prophet Muhammad, 
peace and blessing be upon him and his sunnah that should be always before our eyes if we want to be up to our civilization and history that has given the whole world lessons in enlightenment uh, morals uh, changing and uh, correcting the path that is acknowledged by the enemies of this civilization before the acknowledgement of its friends and allies Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, paid our attention to that all by saying, I have left it to you. What if you hold on to, you will never be misguided. The book of Allah and my sunnah. And he said that I left you with uh, this uh, jurisprudence. Its night is like its day, and those who deviate from it are going to be misguided and destroyed. And our world today is in dire need for the guidance of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him and the guidance of other prophets and messengers, peace and blessing of Allah be upon them all. And this was after the modern world lost uh, its uh, promises in achieving peace and putting an end to wars and lost all these efforts uh, for about uh, four long centuries. Humanity during these centuries achieved only materialistic development. Yet, in its materialistic attempts, suffered and is still suffering from a great vacuum in values, ethical rules, and spirit. And the crisis has become an ethical moral crisis in general. And the principle of compassion was the first victim uh, to today's war. It is lost by today's humans. And the value of compassion was the first victim. The human being lost it while he was following the idols of uh, selfishness, uh, self-desires and whims as well as liberating oneself from the rules of ethics and religion and the spread of money the strength of economy the trade of weapon has become the standard the only standard in distinguishing good from evil and beauty from ugliness it has become the rule that settles the conflicts and disputes in our world and the wars that if they erupt, God forbid, will take us and our civilization overnight into what was before the civilization of the Middle Ages. Your Excellency, the President, distinguished guests, the principle of compassion and its great importance in stabilizing the lives of nations and communities that we are seeking today as uh, the blind the people is seeking to find uh, a dark hat in a dark room is one of the most important traits that we need to learn from the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him discussing the character of uh, Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him is a long uh, matter and it was written in a lot of books and volumes starting with the divine speech as Allah has called him two names in this verse we have sent to you a prophet from yourself who is keen on you and kind to you and is also compassionate. They said uh, that this verse receives to the mercy sent by Allah to believers only. 
and this might be true partially but another verse came to emphasize that the sublime objective of uh, the message of Prophet Muhammad was to deliver his merciness uh, to all mankind as the verse from the Holy Quran says that we have sent you mercy to all mankind and this shows uh, that mercy should be applied in all fields morals jurisprudence uh, legislations uh, with all its dimensions individual family community international and uh, peace and blessing be upon prophet muhammad he emphasized this in his prophetic saying i am uh, a mercy gifted to you to emphasize that peace and blessing be upon him with all his character and traits symbolizes the mercy of allah that is gifted to all mankind and this meaning is repeated in a more comprehensive manner for the third time in the verse I was sent to you to complete good morals and perfect traits and this proves that good traits in general is the main objective of the message of Islam and also the message of all other religions and this shows how Prophet Muhammad was just to all the previous prophets and messengers by saying that I am coming to complete so he is coming to supplement and complete what was established by the previous messengers and prophets and he is not establishing a new moral and ethical system but he is coming to complete that was established by the previous messengers and prophets distinguished guests uh, I won't be exaggerating if I would say uh, that uh, the mercy of Allah is significant and it cannot be counted or confined. This mercy yes, protected people and the message of Allah has protected the nations that were about to commit suicide and you can remember the Persians, the Romans, uh, Egypt, India, the Arab Peninsula and compare their circumstances when this message was revealed to their circumstances after the death of Prophet Muhammad by two decades. Then you will see the difference and the, uh, the Holy Quran and the prophetic saying will be proved to be true. And this mercy is being granted to both Muslims and non-Muslims even those who fought Islam and showed hatred to it and uh, this mercy was shown by the Prophet even to those who fought him and harmed him and he did not just show mercy and forgave them but he also used to say may Allah guide my people because they do not know and the weak uh, uh, segments uh, of uh, the, his people were given more mercy and uh, support uh, and he used uh, to tell his uh, companions uh, to feed them from what uh, they eat and uh, to give them clothes and he used to say do not torture the creation of Allah and if you give them a responsibility help and support them and he received the man who told him uh, the messenger of Allah how many times should I forgive uh, my servant every day? He said 70 times. And he used to warn his companions from calling their uh, servants uh, my uh, slave because they, he co told them to say my boy and my girl instead and he used also to tell them to give the servants their wages even before their sweat uh, dries and he was so kind to children Anas ibn Malik talking about how kind he was to children used to say I never saw a person who was as kind uh, to children as Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him 
and he used sometimes to pray carrying Umama, his grandson from his daughter Zainab. Uh, and if he would come to supplicate or to bow, he would put him on the ground. And the girls also loved the Prophet as the Prophet was kind to girls, as he was kind to boys, although the community at that time preferred girls over boys. And he used to say that he who would bring up two girls until they uh, grow up, then uh, I and him will be together in paradise. And Ibn Mas'ud used to say, I was beating a son, and I heard a voice telling me, No, Abba Mas'ud, that Allah is more stronger than you when you show your strength on this boy. So I turned to him and told him, Oh, Prophet, I'm going to release and liberate him. He said, if you did not do it, then he would have gone to hell. And his mercy to orphans is very well known. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was known to be wise enough, as he used to say, the best house uh, in the house of Muslims is the house that uh, has uh, an orphan and the house is kind to him. And the worst house is the house that has an orphan and is unkind to this orphan. And Al-Duha verse says, Duha Surah has a verse that says, do not be unkind to the orphan. And anyone who would read this would be astonished that this religion starts by giving orders to protect the orphan and the poor people or protect the vulnerable from harming his feelings. And you can see this in Al Ma'un Surah. And it was one of the first surahs that was revealed in Mecca. It says, have you seen those who raises doubts about religion? They are the ones who are unkind to uh, orphans and do not give food to poor people. And in this surah, you will find that those who disbelieve in the religion are the ones who are harsh to orphans and do not feed poor. And if you would continue the surah, you will know more that the disbelievers are the ones who do not support neighbors, even if this support and assistance is very limited and small. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, loved uh, the poor people and he gave them a lot of uh, support and compassion. And one of his prayers was, may you also make me live as a poor person and on doomsday uh, send me to paradise as a poor person. And Aisha said that the family of Prophet Muhammad has never uh, been fully uh, stuffed with food for three days. And she told that uh, whenever they would slaughter a goat, they would feed it to other people. And uh, they would give it to the poor. And Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, said that what was distributed from this goat was uh, the part uh, that would uh, be there uh, to uh, give them good deeds. And he told once, Abi Dhar, Abi Dhar, if you would cook broth so send some to your neighbors he said this uh, to Abu Dhar who was known to be poor and he was urging his companions and friends uh, to give people and he also told women uh, to help their neighbors and to support them whatever small it is 
Abu Huraira says that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, used to say the Muslim women, um, remember your neighbors and be kind to your neighbors. Even the weak uh, creatures uh, were uh, not deprived from his mercy and kindness and he intervened and protected them. And uh, some of his uh, companions said that once they were uh, on a trip with Prophet Muhammad and they saw a bird that has two younger birds. So one of them took uh, it and the bird kept flying and moving its wings. So Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, said, who oh, terrified this bird, give this bird uh, her sibling. And he used to say any person who would separate a mother from her child would be separated from his beloved ones on doomsday. And all what we said is just a drop in a sea showing the merciness of Prophet Muhammad as well as his traits and his morals. And we should be guided by this school of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, and use it as a map for the survival of the Muslims and the whole world in their battle today. And in formulating their modern communities to be based on morals besides the scientific and technological path. Your Excellency the President, once more many happy returns and we wish uh, that uh, you would always be supported by Allah and greetings from Al-Azhar for your efforts uh, and your uh, enormous uh, efforts for the development of Egypt. Uh, may Allah support you and peace and blessing of Allah be upon you. The appreciation and honoring those who excelled in this work is an important, effective example because it encourages people to excel and to develop their work further. Now, His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi is going to honor a number of scientists and distinguished ones. Dr. Seif Ragab Muhammad Qazim, the professor in law and jurisprudence law uh, department at Tanta University. He is honored for all his efforts. Sheikh Muhammad Fathi Abu al Hussein Muhammad Khashaba, the director of the endowment director in Alexandria. And he is honored for all his work throughout his post. Mr. Abdel Hamid Omar Farag, the head of the Central Department for Financial and Administrative and Technical Affairs. He is honored for excelling his work. 
in his work. Dr. Junaya Mahmoud Mohammed Abdul Rahman, the head of the Central Administration for Healthcare at Dua Hospital in the Ministry of Endowment. She is one of the team from uh, Il Dua Hospital that has confronted the pandemic COVID 19. Sheikh Saleh Abu Al-Qasim Saleh Hussein, the Imam of Omar ibn Abdul Aziz Mosque in Beni Suif. And he is honored for his distinguished performance in the summer program for children. Dr. Ahmed Omar Hashim, uh, the former president of Al Azhar University. In the name of Allah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Thanks be to Allah. Peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, his companions. We thank Allah who guided us to that and we would have never been guided without Allah's guidance. We'd like to extend thanks to the leader of our path and the president of our republic who has given Egypt during this period unprecedented accomplishments. May he be supported by Allah. And we are glad that we are convening with His Excellency and you on this day to celebrate the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. The Prophet who was gifted to us by Allah. And this gift is bigger than all other gifts. Allah has given the people a prophet from themselves. And he said, I was the last prophet. And after all the messenger and the prophets, they all believed in Prophet Muhammad and supported him. And uh, the verses that uh, you are known by everyone, uh, an angel Gabriel told the Prophet, do you know how this has happened? He said, uh, because whenever uh, I mentioned, you're mentioned with me. Whenever Allah is mentioned, when Prophet Muhammad is mentioned during the prayer, in the call for prayer, we always mention Allah and we mention the Prophet because we always say there is no God by it. Allah and Muhammad is his Prophet. 
And Allah has added the name of the Prophet to his name as uh, in the five calls for prayers, five times a day we praise Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. We are meeting here to revive the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad. We have never forgotten this anniversary. We are just trying to revive our hearts and thank Allah for this great gift by sending you to us. And we have never forgotten the Prophet and we will never forget him. We remember him every day. And we we talk to you, the Prophet, and we always say in every prayer, peace be upon you, Prophet Muhammad, and his mercy and blessings be upon you. We came on uh, your birth anniversary with our hearts full of love to you, and we long all to sing to you, and we travel to uh, Mecca and uh, Medina to see you and remember you. It was called Yathrib before your presence, and after your presence it became Medina, because it became a paradise after you lived in it and uh, when you set your foot on it its soil became uh, full of good odor and uh, this was a blessing to all mankind and through your traits and character we are trying to learn we live love you the prophet remotely and we have never forgotten you Prophet Muhammad is inviting us to hold on to truth, Allah's teachings to unite us all and to advise people. And Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, says that Allah accepts three things for you and refuses three things he accepts you to worship him and to hold on to your unity and uh, to give advice uh, to your uh, rulers and he hates three things uh, a lot of questions losing money uh, and we pray uh, Allah on uh, this uh, great uh, day uh, to uh, make our country safe uh, as well as all Muslim countries and to support uh, the president and our leader uh, for the good of Egypt and the nation. Thanks you and blessing, uh, peace and blessing be upon you. Peace and blessing of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad, his family and his companions. And now those to be honored from outside the Republic of Egypt, Dr. Muhammad Ahmad Muslim Al Khalayla, the Minister of Endowment from the Jordanian Hashemite Kingdom. Dr. Abu Bakr Zubair, the Mufti of Tanzania.
And because this is full of action, love, then the action shows devotion. And now the speech of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the President of the Republic. Thank you very much. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, a very good day. In the name of Allah, the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, distinguished scientists, imams, ladies and gentlemen, peace be upon you all. Let me, first of all, send my congratulations to the great people of Egypt and all Arab and Muslim nations celebrating the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. Praying Allah to renew this uh, great and blessed anniversary with uh, good for Egypt, all Muslims worldwide, and to deliver peace and security to all humanity. Distinguished guests, this ceremony today is to celebrate the birth anniversary of the last prophet is considered to be a good opportunity to think of the main aim of his message and to take him a role model in good high morals so that we would all follow into his footsteps. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was the best uh, enjoying the higher traits and he was uh, kind to everyone. He was the best person to his family, spouses, sons and daughters, companions, friends. And Prophet, uh, peace and blessing be upon him, said that the best one of you is the best one to his family and I am the best to my family. And and we learned from his high morals that his morals and life was a real interpretation and a real application of the values and morals of the Holy Quran. And one of the most important lessons from which we learn is confronting difficulties and challenges through continuous work and continuous relentless struggle so that we would use all opportunities and you are all aware that we are moving together towards construction and development at a very important moment in the history of Egypt a period that is based on action and production with dedication and devotion to reach new horizons for the future we aspire to for our country and this needs of course the contribution of all the people of Egypt to continue the right path we started and uh, to support uh, the development efforts of Egypt through the mega national projects in different fields I would like to emphasize that uh, the methodology adopting uh, action and belief in Allah as well as continuous efforts based on uh, using uh, the rules of life is uh, the wise system that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, followed and inculcated uh, in uh, the spirit of his companions and taught it to his nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in need celebrating the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, to be guided by his morals and to be keen on the high morals like honesty, keeping promises and pledges, compassion, equality, justice, and compassion and uh, interpret this into a practical 
system in our life and to keep apart from all bad morals that are contradicting with our religion and our civilization. We need also to be aware to the danger of spreading rumors as Allah, glory be to him, said in his book that anything that is said is under observation. So rumors is uh, a crime against the community and the person who says this is committing a sin because he causes destabilization and chaos. That's why we need all to be aware of those people who have weak spirits and are not criticizing with the objective of development and construction, but they are trying to spread rumors, lies and sedition. At the end of my speech, I'm fully confident that Allah would support Egypt and its people to achieve all our hopes in building our new republic that we wish in it we would all enjoy a safe, good life. God willing. Thank you and many happy returns and may Egypt be always in progress peace be upon you Egypt uh, has always uh, praised and uh, loved the prophet and his family your excellency the president uh, many happy returns to you and many happy returns to all the nation the national anthem